Hey guys, this is Archana from Edureka and I welcome you all to yet another session on Scale Agile Framework. The topic for today's discussion is Scale Agile Certification Exam Details and Requirements. So without any delay, let's go ahead and take a look at the topics that we're going to discuss today. So we will begin this session by discussing different kind of safe certifications that are available for you to choose from. After that, we will take a look at one of the most popular certification which is nothing but leading safe, that is safe agile certification. Then we'll get started with our today's topic which is we will discuss safe agile certification exam details. And finally, we'll conclude the session by discussing how do you prepare for the certification and what's your takeaway from the certification. So I hope agenda was clear to you guys. But before we actually get started, do not forget to subscribe at your record channel to stay updated with current technologies. Let's get started then. Though a lot of organizations are adopting agile these days, a common complaint is that agile development doesn't scale well. Many of the concepts like using small self-organizing teams work well for small projects. But what happens if you have like 20 to 30 teams? Guidance may be lacking when it comes to coordinating multiple teams working on a large scale project. There are certain challenges that an organization may come across when scaling agile for large scale projects like lack of long term planning, lack of innovation, lack of synchronization and coordination between teams lack of agile practice at management levels and all that. That is why a lot of agile frameworks are now available for large scale enterprise projects. Scale agile framework or safe is also one of them. Scale agile framework which is also known as safe is an agile framework which uses a combination of existing lean and agile principles and combines them into a templated framework for large scale projects. It's primarily based on three bodies of knowledge, which is nothing but agile development, lean product development and system thinking. It is designed to give a team a flexibility and help them manage some of the challenges that organizations encounter when scaling agile at huge scale. Now a little bit about its history. Safe framework was introduced in 2011. It was originally called agile enterprise big picture by software industry veteran Dean Leffingwell. If you're wondering who is, he's the one who published a book called Agile Software Requirements. Well, this big picture, that's nothing but safe right now, described how to leverage existing Agile frameworks such as Lean, Kanban, Scrum, XP, and all that, and apply them at different levels, like team level, program level, and portfolio level. So guys, if you're wondering what these levels are, and if you're interested to know more about a scaled Agile framework, you can actually go to Adirika YouTube playlist of scale agile framework or scrum and check out the videos on safe with a lot of organizations moving to agile safe or scale agile framework it has gained a lot of popularity these days given the growth and fame of scale agile framework it should come as no surprise to you guys that this growth is also fueling an unprecedented demand for different kind of safe certifications so let's go ahead and have a discussion on the safe certifications Scale Agile Inc., the certifying body of Scale Agile Framework, it provides a myriad of certification programs. These professional certification programs provide a valid, reliable, and consistent method of assisting the candidate on SAFE skills, knowledge, and mindset. So, as you guys know, SAFE is for scaling Agile for large scale projects, right? So obviously you'll be having different kind of people involved and different kind of roles involved here. So SAFE offers different kind of certifications which are role specific. For example, you have leading SAFE which is for SAFE Agile certification. Then there's SAFE Program Consultant certification, SAFE Release Train Engineer certification. Then there's SAFE Scrum Master certification, Advanced Scrum Master certification, Agile Software Engineer certification, DevOps Practitioner certification and many more. You can actually go ahead and refer to official scale agile.com to check out different kind of certifications that are available if you are planning to enter safe world. So the point here is certified safe professionals are globally recognized for their ability to successfully execute large scale projects based on agile and lean principles. So earning leading safe 4.6 certifications will give you a major lead over your peers and places you at the helm of agile transformation in enterprise. 
Now that you're aware of different kind of certifications that are available and safe, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the most popular certification, which is nothing but leading safe. So guys, this leading safe 4.6 certification, also known as Agile certification, is for candidate who wants to gain knowledge to lead a lean agile enterprise by leveraging the scale agile framework and also by utilizing safe underlying principles which are derived from lean system thinking agile development product development flow and devops so the safe agile certification guides and works towards the improvement of lean agile culture in an organization by communicating and making the stakeholders and clients realize the importance of safe Agile leader plays a pivotal role in motivating co-workers to develop their skills and knowledge base which is required to work in an organization that has adopted safe. The leading safe certificate has become the benchmark for lean agile enterprises and it widens your scope in industry both in terms of value as well as career. So what you're actually trying to learn from getting safe agile certification or what your goal here is that you will be able to understand the five competencies of lean enterprise. You will learn how to become a lean thinking managing teacher. You will learn to apply the values and principles of a lean agile mindset. You will create high performing teams and trains by establishing mission and purpose. You will also learn how to lead the transformation with the safe implementation roadmap. You will learn how to drive or how to release products on release on demand with continuous delivery pipeline. You will learn how to support PI planning, which is nothing but program increment planning and events that are associated with successful program execution. You will also learn how to coordinate multiple ARTs. That's nothing but agile release trains and suppliers with a solution train. You will learn how to establish alignment, which is one of the important core value and execution with strategic themes and lean portfolio management and all that. So basically by getting safe agile certified you're learning all these key points. That's your goal. So in simple terms, you'll gain the knowledge which is essential to lead a lean agile enterprise by leveraging the scale agile framework and its underlying principles. So these principles are basically derived from lean agile product development flow and DevOps. So who exactly is the certification for? Well, a lot of people in different kind of professions or roles can actually take up the certification. For example, you have scrum master DevOps practitioner. Well, if you are an infrastructure manager or if you are involved in product and product line management or if you are a program and project manager, portfolio managers, process leads, enterprise architects, solution architects, executives, leaders, managers, directors, VPs, Anybody can take the safe agile certification if they want to lead entire organization based on lean agile principles. Well, now that you're aware of different kind of certifications that are available and one of the most popular certification, which is nothing but leading safe 4.6. Let's go ahead and check out what's your roadmap to get safe agile certification. So your first step is you'll have to appear for two day safe training course that will prepare you for safe for agile certification exam based on safe version 4.6, which is the latest version of safe. So this training basically discusses the five core competencies which are needed for your organization to become a lean enterprise. You will also learn different kind of things that we discussed earlier. That's the goal of safe agile certification moving on. You will also learn and practice skills which are required or which support you for PI planning events, coordinate multiple ARTs and all that. So guys, this prep course which you're planning to take and which you should take comes in two formats. Live instructor led safe bootcamp at training facilitates and in house if there are 10 or more employees from an enterprise seeking safe training. So Take into consideration the different course materials that will be available for you when you're attending the course and study based on the course and exam study materials which are provided to you. Next step is really important, which is to incorporate whatever you've learned through this course in real world experiences. Then you can take up the practice test on a safe community platform. After that, if you think you're well prepared within the 30 days in completion of your course, go ahead and take the actual exam through safe community platform. After that, you will successfully become a member of safe community. Simple enough, right? Let me repeat it for you guys. You'll have to attend a two day compulsory leading safe course. 
try to incorporate whatever you have learned through this course into your world experience. Take a practice test if it's possible. It's always suggested. And within the 30 days of completion of your course, go ahead and take up your actual exam. If you successfully pass the exam, you will be a member of safe community. Well, to remind you guys again, the certification can be taken by anyone who has passed to work in an organization which is based on lean agile principles at a very large scale. For example, team leads, product managers, project managers, development managers, architects, analysts, testers, and many people, all of these people can take up the exam. Well, now that you're aware of how your path should look if you're considering to take up the certification exam, let's go ahead and discuss the exam details in brief. Let's start by prerequisites. First of all, all are welcome to attend the two day safe training course regardless of experience. However, it's better if you have certain skills. For example, if you have experience in Scrum, it's way much better. It's good to have five plus years experience in fields like software development, testing, business analysis, product management, project management and all this. So basically the skills which are just listed are highly recommended, but not really compulsory. That's about the prerequisites. Moving on, let's discuss in detail about exam. First of all, the name of the exam that we're going to discuss in this session is Leading Safe 4.6 or Safe 4 Agile Certification Exam. And where can the candidates access the exam? Well, candidates can access the exam within the Safe Community platform where you can sign up and you can take the exam upon completion of Leading Safe course. That's within 30 days you should take up the exam. Moving on, more about the exam, it's online as in single browser. When you're actually writing test on one browser, you can't go ahead and open another browser. It will automatically log you out from the test. It's closed book as in you have no reference and no outside assistance and obviously it's timed. What's the format? Well, you will encounter mostly multiple choice questions. What's the duration? So once the exam begins, candidates will have about 90 minutes. That's 1.5 hours to complete the exam. And the number of questions that you have to attempt in 90 minutes is 45. So what's your passing score? Well, if you get 34 out of 45, which is approximately 75%, then you will be considered as a member of safe community as in you'll have passed the exam and you'll be certified. Exam is usually in English language. And lastly, the cost that you'll have to pay for the first time when you're attempting is usually included in the two day mandatory course that you take up. After that, if you have not cleared the exam for every reattempt that you take, you'll have to pay $50. But another thing that you have to notice here is that guys, the reattempt cost for every safe exam varies. This $50 is particular only for safe agile certification exam. But if you are considering taking other safe exams, please do refer to the official website to know the amount of retake fee. Anyway, getting back to our content. So the first time you attempt the cost is included in the course that you take. But after that every retake that you attempt you'll have to pay 50 per every attempt. Let's go ahead and, and discuss more about exam retake policy. So the first exam that you take is considered a first attempt and it's not a retake. If the certification exam is not successfully completed on first attempt then you can go ahead and attempt second time and there's no waiting period before you actually consider taking it second time. The second time that you take or the second attempt is called first retake and you can take it immediately after your first attempt for a fee of about $50. That's only for safe agile certification. Third attempt requires a 10 day wait before the exam and again the retake fee is about $50. The fourth attempt it requires a 30 day wait before the exam can be retaken. Again the retake cost is $50. So guys, another important point that you have to understand is that once an exam is successfully completed, exam retakes are not allowed at all. The candidate may not take the same exam again unless there has been an announced update to the exam. So I hope with this you're clear with the exam details, requirements, prerequisites and retake policy, right? So let's go ahead and explore more. So what's your takeaway from getting safe agile certified? What do you get from it? You get something called safe certification kit. So attendees who pass the certification exam receive different kind of things. For example, first of all, you will receive certified safe for agile certificate. You will receive safe for agile digital badge to promote your accomplishment online. 
you'll get one year certified membership as a safe agileist which includes your access to safe agile community at practice you will have access to meetup groups and events that connect you with other safe certified professionals you will also get a certification usage guide with sa certification marks you will also have access to lot of learning resources to support you during your safe journey well your journey doesn't just end with one certification right after that you might require different kind of resources to move ahead in your journey of safe so that things also will be available for you once you're certified together all this combined is what you call a safe certification kit so that's your takeaway from the exam well now that you have a clear picture of exam details you must be wondering how do you actually go ahead and prepare yourself for safe agile certification exams or any other safe exam in general aren't you well if you are curious let's go ahead and check out the simple steps that will help you pass the exam with flying colors so guys the first step towards becoming a safe certified professionals is to attend the leading safe course so once you attend the course you'll get a lot of course materials that are very helpful to prepare you for the exam they have like exam relevant topics which will be discussed in detail so attending a course will help you a lot so go through study guides as they provide relevant and content specific exam information after that you can take plenty of practice tests and sample tests this simulate the actual certification exam in duration difficulty and topic area so that first time you attempt the exam you won't be unfamiliar with the format timing and all that so it will be easy for you to give the exam and not just in this exam right any exam practice tests and sample tests are really the best way to prepare yourself for actual exam and after that go ahead and apply what have you have learned in real world experiences that's leverage your experience combining a person studying and learning with their real world experiences is the key to becoming safe certified so in simple terms go ahead and gain both practical as well as theoretical knowledge well that's it folks with this we have reached the end of the session i hope you found it interesting and helpful but do keep in mind that becoming safe certified is one step towards the beginning of an ongoing pursuit of learning and knowledge while you are at it you can also go ahead and take a look at scale agile interview questions video which is there in safe edureka playlist well that's it guys thank you and i'll meet you in next session with another interesting topic i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more Happy learning.